Hello everybody, I am so excited for this video. I have a lot of stuff here, so I don't wanna ramble in the beginning, but this is like my ride or die Amazon baby toddler must-haves, leaning more on the toddler side, like one to two years, but there is stuff for baby. It is a lot of stuff. I think I have 25 items, but I promise you, these are things I use pretty much every day and I would recommend to anyone. Every mom and every baby is so different, but I really feel like this is the best of the best. We have my favorite toys, my favorite clothes, my favorite dining wear, my favorite kitchen tools, some miscellaneous items, some like big household items, bedding, like whatever you can think of, I have it from Amazon. The first thing I wanna show you, TikTok actually made me buy it. It is this guy right here and it has one purpose, which you're like, why would that be a must have? It, the purpose is just so good, it's worth it. It is to quarter grapes. So you stick grapes right in here and you press. It has made my life so much easier. I think grapes are such a good snack. They're not too messy. My daughter loves them and I really like to freeze them for teething and I want to cut them before I freeze them. I promise you, if your baby and toddler likes grapes, it is worth having this one item that does one thing. Another must have kitchen tool I have, and I feel like a lot of people talk about this, but it is a way to cut items for you, for the baby, that have a groove. So if you're doing baby lead weaning, so early on baby stages, this is great for say an avocado or a mango, something that would be slippery otherwise, and this just gives it groove, so it has a grip, but in the toddler stage, I still am using it because it's a good tool to help your toddler cut things safely. It is a little sharp, so you, you need to have control over it, but they can cut bananas, and having them be a part of the cooking process can help them be more open to trying different foods. So this is great for baby and toddler. Another kitchen tool I live by, it's not really a kitchen tool, it's a, it's a snack tool, but this is a little travel cup, or I use it around the house because it keeps snacks contained. They have to kind of go through this little flap so snacks don't fall out when they're running around, which they do. And you can put sliced grapes in here, you can do Cheerios, you can do little of those yogurt melts. This one specifically is a cheaper option on Amazon. The brand Mushy does make one and I did buy it, but I do prefer the cheaper option because it comes with a lid and so if you are on the go with it or you wanna throw it into your bag, the lid does help and the Mushy one does not have that. It also comes in a bunch of cute colors and you can pack it down really small, so obsessed. Speaking of the brand Mushy, so I do not prefer them for the snack cup, but I really do prefer them for a lot of mealtime items. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see this all the time. It suctions as well as something does suction <laughs> to a placemat. Of course, it can still be ripped up, but I love their colorways. There's actually a psychological aspect to mealtime and colors, so it's not just an aesthetic thing. I will say this tone is a color I aesthetically really like, but I studied color theory, my mom studied color theory, and there is a reason why certain restaurants will have certain colors, like McDonald's is red and yellow. Those two colors specifically make you want to eat quickly, they make you thirsty, and they make you want to leave. So it's good for like a fast-paced restaurant. So tones that are more calming, which Mushy has mostly like those neutral type tones, can actually have a psychological little take on having your toddler be more interested in food and eat 
slower. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This is great in the baby stage for baby lead weaning in the toddler stage. So I have this bowl from them. I have this bowl, which I use if I do like a stew or a soup and I drain most of the broth out. I do love that all of the colors match if you go the mushy route. I also have their silverware now. There are better options if you're starting out in baby lead weaning and your child is under one, but my daughter loves these. She actually will not eat a meal unless I give her silverware. I also suggest their bibs, especially for baby lead weaning because chunks are gonna be falling and these catch all bibs will save a lot of the mess, not all of it. For milk and water, we have been using this weighted straw cup from Munchkin since Arrow, it's been a while. It's been an item I've repurchased over and over again. I will say it does take some time to get used to one, a straw, but also just the cleaning process of it. it there's also some little trial and error things you have to do. Like you have to make sure you snap it right at the top. You have to make sure you take the plastic cover off the bottom. It should not be difficult to get water out. Like you should be able to drink it nicely. And so if you're having trouble with this cup and you buy it, I would definitely troubleshoot everything because I get a lot of DMs about people saying it's not working for them. And if it's working right, it, you should be able to get water really easily. This has been really our go-to cup, but I will say it can leak sometimes, which is why I'm gonna also recommend the Yeti toddler cup. I don't have it to show you because it's in, it's in the car right now. This cup I use just for water and for travel because it is absolutely no spill. I will say it's not good for like the baby stage, more so the toddler stage because it is a bigger, heavier item. So far those have been our two go-to cups this entire time. I still am on the lookout for one that meets all of my needs, but as of right now, those have been our go-to. Let's hop into my must-have nursery, big girl room, bed items. The biggest one I get questions about is what pillow we use. I think it's called Sleepy Head. Of course, I'm gonna link everything down below. It is just a good toddler pillow size. And I went through a few different pillow cases, and this is the one I have found I liked the best. It is a silk like material but what really sold it for me is a lot of the pillowcases i was finding on amazon were two flaps that went over and i was always scared that somehow my daughter would put her head in between them and suffocate so this one has a zipper which makes me feel a lot safer while she sleeps there's no way for her to get trapped or smothered by it i think this color is really cute if you want a simple white they have that i think they have a couple of other options and you get two for one for the price so it's a really good deal it's really soft if you're in the phase of transitioning to a big girl bed and you need a toddler pillow this is your jam. i also went through a ton of crib sheets and I tried some from Solly Baby, I tried some from Potty Barn Kids, and they weren't as soft, they would rip. I wasn't totally in love with any of them, and then I found that the Mushy brand makes crib sheets, and it's this muslin material. They again, nail it on the colors. I am not going to get any other crib sheets, toddler bed sheets, it is my favorite. Another big buy I recently added to her big girl room was a Montessori inspired storage collection. Everything I was finding was very expensive or just not big enough for what I needed. And I found the best option from Amazon. It can hold a ton of different stuff. It has these bins, it has a little cabinet so you can keep some of the mess away and it easily safely mounted to her wall because when you switch to the big girl bed, your toddler can get out and you have a fear of them climbing and getting into everything. And so having something that I felt 100% safe with was really important to me. Another one of my absolute nursery faves that I get asked all the time about is her ball pit. And it was actually a gift from her grandparents. So it's not something I purchased, but it is from Amazon. I sent them the link because I knew exactly what I wanted. We have had it pretty much for a full year now and Arrow still loves this ball pit. I am obsessed with it. It comes in different colorways. I have like a pink one. It definitely is a bigger purchase. And so if you have a grandparent or a family member or you're looking 
for some kind of a fun gift for a first birthday, a second birthday. This is so much fun. For the next category, I wanna talk about my go-to Amazon toys. I've tried a bunch of different ones and these are the ones that have lasted the longest time and Arrow has enjoyed the most from age one to pretty much now age two. The first item I get asked about all the time and it always sells out, but it is this little set of dolls. There's actually one more that comes in this set and I don't know where it is. And they come in a cute little basket, which I also don't know where it is, but I think these are such cute dolls. I got these for my daughter when she was a year old and it's been really fun to watch her progress in the way she plays with dolls. Cause initially she would just like to like walk around with them, put them places. She would put them in a stroller and push them. And then she started to want to sleep with them. And now she makes <laughs> them kiss. Another item that has lasted us a whole year is this little musical set. So you get a ton of stuff in here. You get a tambourine. No clue what this is, but Arrow likes it. Some of this, some of this. Actually, I just realized her favorite toy is not in here. My daughter loves the flute that is in here and she's just now understanding how to do it. She would just kind of go, woo. <laughs> she had a blast doing it, but now she's understanding to like blow into it. And I think music is such a great thing to introduce at an early age. And I feel like for all of the toys you get, it is really well priced, it's well made, it's all wood. The last toy that is always a hit is this little Etch-a-Sketch right here. It does come in other colors, but yeah, you can just draw with it, erase it. We all know a little Etch-a-Sketch. We love a good non-messy toy, but you can still be creative and draw and paint because I'm really scared of introducing paints. I did it with some Easter eggs and I can't even show you the photo <laughs> of what ended up happening because pretty much she painted herself naked. <laughs> the final must have, must have, must have toy is actually in the car. It is a toy I just keep in the car so she doesn't get bored of it. It is one of those popping toys. They have a ton of different options on Amazon. Let's hop into the miscellaneous stage of this video. One being this toothbrush. Now, I tried so many different toothbrushes and I tried one from Mushy, I tried like Frida Baby. This is from Brush Baby. It was actually a TikTok recommendation. I am so happy I saw that little TikTok. Why it is so good is one, it has a light. Two, it vibrates. And this really sold it for my daughter. She loves the vibrating and she will sit there and I can get her to brush her teeth. Is she doing an a thousand percent job? Not sure, but a lot better of a job than I could do getting in there with one of those other toothbrushes. We are just using water on the toothbrush. My dentist told me to wait until after two to introduce toothpaste so I don't have like a toothpaste option. But yeah, I am trying to get her into the habit of getting used to morning and night brushing her teeth and this changed the game. Another miscellaneous item I cannot live without. It is the Dreft Stain Remover. It works so well. I'm always amazed. I use it all the time. I've repurchased this so, so many times. I'm not really creative with Googling different recipes for getting different stains out. So far, I have not met a stain this couldn't get out. This next one I'm not going to talk too too much about because I think I talked about it in a couple of must-haves but I just wanted to reiterate it is still a must-have. I've used this in the newborn stage, baby stage, toddler stage. First there is a kit where you can get two travel sized boudreaux's butt paste. can never say it but you get the spatula. It's actually cheaper to buy the spatula in the set than it is by itself and then I keep the other ones in the diaper bag and I buy this big tub. It, it's the best butt cream you could possibly buy. And this makes it so you don't get butt paste underneath your nails because that is really hard to come out. And yeah, it's, it's not a fun experience. Whether you have short nails or not, you need a spatula. The biggest miscellaneous but best most used item is her toddler stool. 
I got this I think before she was a year old and it really came into play a few months later but now we use it every day if you want to involve your toddler in cooking or just get her up at a higher level so she can be more involved and see what's happening when you're cooking. They still sell the exact one I have on Amazon. I got it in white but I think it comes in black navy and a wood tone. Another question I get all the time is which car seat mirror we use. I have been using this from the beginning. I think it's a really great mirror. It's a good size. It's scratch resistant. It straps really safely to the headrest. I think it's the top rated one on Amazon. We are doing rear facing with the car seat as long as we can and you're gonna need a mirror if you're doing rear facing. It will save you a lot and this is the best one. Let's do some toddler clothes recommendations. I have tried so many different options from Amazon in regards to baby toddler clothes. They have a great selection but these are the top 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 ones because a lot of the brands that I shop from they'll have like one standout and then like one's okay and one's not good. So I'm going to let you know what is the standout from those brands. Probably not going to pronounce this right but the brand is called Var Varnet. Uh, they make a lot of different toddler PJ options. This one, I think it's the Model. I'll link it exactly, but this is the best one. It is so soft and so stretchy, and what I love about it is usually I'm putting PJs on after a bath, and this material, when she's all lotioned up, glides on so easily. Her little fingers don't bend back, and it's just so soft and so comfy. It, oh wow, this is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I've pretty much given up on trying to keep the PJs clean because she doesn't care and I don't care that she sleeps with stains. But the, the other clothes, I get the stains out. I think this is probably going <laughs> to be stained too. But they all come in sets. They have so many different colors. These are definitely the best from the Vernet. I have one of their watercolor sets and that's not as soft a material it's not as stretchy it's definitely cute and it's well priced and then they have another option that looks super similar to this which i do also like but it can be a little bit harder it's a little stiffer and like thicker so it's good for winter and i just find it a little difficult to put it on after a bath when she's lotioned up so this this is definitely the top, the, the model one. And I know spring and summer are approaching, so they do use that same fabric in a shorts set. The one thing I will say is their boy options in this, it'll all be in like one streamlined section, is softer and I prefer more than the girls. You can tell what the girls are because they have a scalloped hem. Those just aren't as soft, and so I prefer to buy the boys in the shorts. If you're looking for a set with some texture, this brand, Ava Yuma, makes a really good summer set. Of course, I don't have the matching top. It, it is a matching set, but I really like these. I really like their colors. I think they're just as soft, just as stretchy. So if you're looking for a summer option, this brand is really good, but this particular set, I haven't been as pleased with the other items I got from them. So I'll link this one down below. The other one I wanted to talk about, and again, I don't have the top. It is a matching set. This honestly isn't, I don't love it because it's so soft. I just love it. I mean, it's like muslin. It kind of feels like the mushy sheets. Like it's not that stretchy, super soft material, but this is so cute, <laughs> so cute. I haven't tried anything else from this brand, but it just looks like your baby like is having a spa day and they're going to the Four Seasons because it has like a little matching button up. And there are a lot of places that sell adult versions of this type of style if you see like the button up. And so you can easily do like a mommy and me matching. I, it's just, it's just so cute. If you are a mom, you know the baby sock drama. You're gonna lose them. <laughs> and so my tip is to find one style that really works for your kid and only buy that one. <laughs> because if you lose one, they're all gonna match. And I have found the best deal. It is an Amazon essential. It is these socks in particular. I prefer a sock like, you know, that honestly they kind of look the same that has a little bit of sock showing at the top i don't like low rider socks these fit over her 
her little leggies. I have a lot of problem with socks not fitting her properly and I found boy socks to fix that problem. So if you have a cute little squishy toddler, these are the best socks and you get a huge pack. Yeah, you get 10 for $10. They have this colorway and then they have all black. But I'm sticking with this and I'm probably gonna buy 20 pairs and just go with it. No cute little heart socks for Arrow. If you wanna check anything that I talked about in this video, I will have everything linked and organized down below. I know this was like very toddler baby dense, but I do have a lot of Amazon favorites for mom or just being a human, home decor, skincare. So like this video if you want me to make another one dedicated to giving ourselves some love and the products I've found that really are my must-haves for me. Let me know if that sounds good in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions and what you would like to see next. And I really hope you found this video helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Bye!